smoke and pair. Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so today we are going to be doing something a little different. You guys know I love doing all kind of different crafts and stuff like that. I went and I got all kind of stuff like flowers from the Dollar Tree, and I'm about to make a summer wreath for my front door. This right here is what I'm going to be using as my wreath. I got this from Michael's for four dollars michael's literally has um coupons pretty much every week like all the time there's always a coupon for michael's for 50 percent off this is the 18 inch okay so this is the 18 inch can y'all see that the 18 inch birch wreath okay this came out to be four dollars all right so this is what we're going to be using as our wreath base um, you can always use the, um, metal ones from Dollar Tree. I have done that before, but I think this right here is going to be super pretty for our summer wreath. Um, let's start to get organized with the stuff. Let me show you guys what I actually picked up from Dollar Tree. So I'm doing this on my dining room table because my dining room table is glass. And it's just going to be easier for me to clean up. All right, so let me show you what I got. So I got these flowers. These are the gladiolas. I don't have like um, a direction I'm going. I just bought stuff that I thought was cute and I'm about to just hook it up, okay? This right here is called the onion grass. Okay, you see how that looks? I hope this is a good shot you know is I, do i have a bottle of cilantro on here y'all don't mind me this is some real deal holy field okay this right here is the impatience you see that i know the light is drowning it out some so i got that i don't know what i'm doing i just bought different stuff that i thought was pretty and i'm just gonna hook it up look at that I thought this was really pretty. It has like sparkle on it. These, these are called glitter coral. I don't know if you can tell, but if they're white and iridescent, it has like a glitter on them. I have my fan going to help um, um, dry the glue. This right here is um, a rose gold coral that from the tag, I guess it was in their Halloween collection, but it was still out, so look at that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to be using my hot glue gun and not E6000. I thought it would just be better to use the hot glue. This right here is just called green berries. I just bought different things, y'all. Some more of these white, these are white sunflowers, like, And these are sunflowers too. I'm not sure my direction, but we about to see what we can do. Oh, I bought some scissors. I've been needing some scissors too. Yeah, all right. And then I got some of these white pearls. All right, let's see what we can put together. I have a candle going. Y'all, who uses or burns different candles from all seasons during any season. Right now, I'm burning Spiced Gingerbread, um, the Bath & Body Works candle, even though it's summertime, and it just smells so good to me. And I don't care that it's summertime, and I am burning a fall candle, because it smells good. So for my glue sticks, I'm gonna be using the Elmer's Glue, all temp glue sticks. Okay, let's start with these sunflowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this tag off yeah I decided to do this right now cuz I'm about to go get my nails done tomorrow so I'm like if I mess my nails up it'll be fine cuz I'm about to get them done anyway so it's 
like the perfect time for me to do a craft. So we're gonna start with some sunflowers. I just pulled it off the um, stem. They just come right off. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm gonna put a dot of some hot glue and place our sunflower right here okay just gonna press it so i'm just gonna press it and hold it for a couple of seconds okay now let's do another one just gonna pull it off i'm gonna turn this I'm gonna put this one right here. I'm gonna put it on different um, points where the flower is gonna rest. I'm not going any specific order, y'all. I'm just going to what feels right. Okay, let the ancestors tell me where and where, when and where to put things. Yeah, I like all kind of crafty kind of stuff. I like doing hair, I like cooking, I like decorating. Like, I just am that kind of woman, okay? I like to clean stuff, I like to organize stuff. Like, I'm definitely that kind of girl or woman. I'm that kind of woman. So right here, this is the last one from the bunch. As you can see, I'm just putting glue, not just in one spot, but different spots where the flower is going to rest, just so it's nice and secure. And you can always go back and put a couple more dots if you need your petals to lay more flat. Like right here, I should probably put a couple dots so that I can lay flat. But I'm going to do that in the end when I'm, you know, just doing my final touches. Okay, so look, there goes our sunflowers on already. That looks really pretty. Oh, I have another one. Let's do some more. So I want this to look summery. I don't want it to look super fally. I know the orange from the sunflowers is kind of fall, but I'm going to try to hook it up so it doesn't look fallish, but more summery. Okay. So I'm just adding this next um, bouquet of sunflowers. Put this right here. I'm putting a lot of glue because I like these to last. I like, I'm that kind of corny person. I like different wreaths for different holidays, different seasons. Like, I love all that kind of corny stuff. Comment below if you like that kind of corny stuff too. Or if it's not corny at all. I think this is looking cute so far already. Alright. So we have two more. I'm going through these glue sticks, honey. Right, time for another one. But got to make sure it's secure so it lasts. After you um, do this and it's time for the next one, you just put this in like a, a plastic bag. And then store it somewhere. Then when the season comes back around, you just refresh it and use it again. You know. So one more. That right here. This Elmer's glue, um, glue stays, it comes out. The glue comes out super thick. Alright. So, here are sunflowers. Can you see? Super pretty so far, right? Alright, so now, let's add some of these 
white sunflowers. Let's put some of these white sunflowers in between these orange ones. I want it to look elegant and full, but I don't want it to look like super duper busy, okay? I'm gonna hook it up, y'all. Y'all just watch. We, we creating that, you know, we just doing this, all right? We just gonna wing it, be positive, and I'm sure it's gonna come out beautiful. Only have one of these. I'm gonna have to make it two of the two. Maybe we can have that be the bottom, and then we accentuate it with different stuff on the top. Cause we only have three more of these, y'all. So we have one more. Where should we put this side? I think we should put that last one on that side. All right. How's it looking so far, y'all? What do y'all think so far? I feel like I'm trying to tell myself that more than y'all, but I have confidence. Okay? It's going to be cute. So... There goes our orange and white sunflowers so far. Beautiful. Alright, what next? Alright, so we have this gladiolus. Alright, y'all, so I am literally just winging it. Um, let's take some of these kind of white flowers and put some of those right here. I'm gonna just lay these this way and then open them up a little bit. Oh, that's cute. Okay, Ash. That's actually really pretty. These remind me of lilies, but they're called gladiolas. They look just like lilies to me. Just gonna lay them. I'm gonna put um, a couple down here by the sunflowers just to, um, you know, make it blend in more because it's a totally different flower. Yeah, we're, we are winging it. How many times I said that already? Hashtag make it do what it do. Okay. It's gonna be cute though. I already can see it's going to be cute. Watch that candle. How many views will I get if this whole thing caught on fire? God forbid from the candle. I got it, y'all. I got it, I got it. Okay. Put this big one over here. Alright, so let's take some of these green berries and put that in different places. Let's lay these on the edges. I like that already. 
much better. Look. Let's put another one right here. Let's put the next one. Um, let's put it right here. How's it looking, y'all? Is it looking cute or funky? Either way, we're going to roll with it. It's going to be in my summer wreath. So. Alright, that's on. Um, now what? I have a bunch of these little leaves. Let's put summer screams green, right? Let's try to add some of this green in different places. I hope I'm not overzoning it, y'all. I don't want it to be super busy. If it's starting to get super busy, I'm just going to roll with it. What can I do with this? Does this come off at all? Oh, it does come off, y'all. I think I might like it better if it was that way. Gosh, y'all. Right. Think positive. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Stick it on. Candle girl, I know, I hear ya. I see it. I think that's actually pretty cute. Okay, Ash, I'm gonna take this orange one and I'm gonna just see, is this starting to look fallish? I'm gonna start. I'm just poke it through the birch. It's on like a wire. So I'm gonna poke it through and then bring the wire through and then just bend it. Jess, I had took a little break and then I had put some more of those orange uh, corals in. This is how it looks. I think I'm pretty much done. I am going to add some more greenery just to make it a little bit less fall and more summery. So we're about to do that real quick. But this is pretty much done. How do you think it came out? I took a nap, y'all. I said I took a break, but no. Actuality, I took that. Okay. So you guys hear is how it came out. I love it. Whoa! Don't slip!